Good afternoon, everyone. Actually, it's good evening now. Uh, it's the April 27th, 2015. This is Michael Bowman. Just wanted to do a quick update to my Owen self-hosted stuff. You know, I did part one, part two. I guess this is going to qualify as part three. Check this out. This is pretty cool. So last time you saw, I created the SignalR page here. Uh, last time you saw, I did the Owen self-host. Now I've added something new. So here's what I've done. I've created a new client. It's called Data Pump. Now, so what Data Pump does is it's a C Sharp console app, and all it's doing is generating random numbers. It's just in a, a loop. It's on a background thread, and it's just generating random numbers, and it's delayed every 1,000 milliseconds, so it doesn't just zip by. It gives you some time to look at it. And what happens is every time it creates a random number, it calls to SignalR, the web server, which is this guy right here, and it says, hey, uh, I've got some new data. Go do an update. Well, you'll notice uh, the Owen self-host DXE, the uh, SignalR portion of it, is logging that in the console. But also over here, you see it over here, right, in the uh, actual website. So I've got four pages up, and you'll notice they're all getting updated. I think that's pretty cool, right? So I can even click here, connect, and what will happen is it will send a message from the web page over to the Owen self-host over here, and you'll see it. You'll see it come in. Watch right here. Click. There it is. Greet all from connection ID 0589. That happens to be this page. So if I hit it multiple times really fast, connect, 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 you can see it, right? Greet all. So that gets broadcast to everybody. That will get broadcast to all the other pages. But then this guy posts another message, and it just keeps on going, 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 and these guys get updated again. So I hope this demonstrates the coolness of SignalR. Um, you know, basically what it means is this is eventually going to be the framework for my dashboard, which I'm building out. I'm going to make a really cool dashboard on the bottom, which has got some pretty cool instrumentation. And then basically the Owen self-host um, web, uh, web server will be able to just pump information to it. And when you connect to the page, you know, it'll just start updating the information on the fly and whatever information I choose to put into it, that's what you'll get. So it might be a really cool framework uh, for dashboards. Anyway, that's it. I thought I would just kind of show that to you. It's pretty cool. I think I can even shut the data pump down. Let's just do that. There it goes. It's gone, right? There's my signal R. Nothing's going on now, right? And I can fire it back up. Let's fire back up the EXE here, and it should just take off, and there it goes again. It's running. So pretty cool. Anyway, don't mean to uh, waste your time, but just that kind of goes to show the coolness of uh, SignalR. I've got it running over here in the Owen self-hosted console that I built with REST APIs as well. And this is a little data pump. And you could actually wire up as hundreds, thousands of these little puppies, you know, across machines all over the place, right? You could have five of these on on five different machines that have 25 different processes, crunching data, crunching, 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 all hammering this server and then throwing the results back to this website. I think that's kind of cool, but I get overexcited. So anyway, everyone, have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon.